folks, I decided to take a little step back uh, this week. I had kind of a breakthrough on uh, the blonde donkey I called Big Don uh, earlier this week. And um, I put him in the corner and uh, normally he's just, he's panicky trying to get out. Uh, he's shaking, he's just really nervous. And so uh, I just decided not to touch him. I just, we just stood there and uh, I, didn't, I didn't touch him this time. What I've been doing is putting him in the corner and scratching him and try to touch him. And uh, so I didn't touch him. I noticed uh, after a few minutes he stopped shaking. And then, um, and then I noticed that uh, um, he was licking his lips, picked up one hind leg, and was in a relaxed posture. And so um, I thought, you know, maybe I'm taking things a little too fast here. Maybe I need to slow down and back up a little bit. So that's what I did this week. And so what I've been doing this week is when I'm feeding them, I'm coming out and I'm standing near their, uh, as they're feeding. And because uh, I feed them twice a day, I feed them in the morning and in the afternoon. And uh, these two behind me here have been the wildest. Uh, one of them I kind of call snort because uh, our house is about uh, maybe 150 yards away from the corral. As soon as I walk out the door, he is, uh, he's snorting at me. And you know, he's, and they run to the back of the corral. Uh, but as you can see now, um, I can see them there in the screen behind me. Uh, they're actually coming up to the feeder, which is a huge step um, compared to where they were, you know, 10 days ago. Um, I don't even know if it was 10 days ago, but uh, <laughs> I mean, they would come out and just stay in the back of the corner of the corral. They wouldn't feed unless I was out of sight and out of mind. So this is a big step, really, because they're coming closer now and they're starting to trust me. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe in a couple more weeks we could we can even have better better trust and uh, maybe I can go back to uh, getting a halter on them and, and, that, and that sort of thing. So, you know, I guess you, you got to sometimes admit your mistakes and I was going a little too fast, I think, with these guys. Um, and so we're going to back off a little bit and give them, give them a little time to acclimate here and then I'm going to uh, go back to trying to touch them again um, and try to uh, get a halter on them again. So that'll probably be another another, I don't know, uh, I don't, well, you know, it's kind of up to them. I, I keep putting timelines on things. That's probably another mistake I'm making. I just need to go slow and kind of go wherever, you know, wherever they're at and, um, you know, based off their pace. Because all these donkeys are different. Uh, like the one 9423, he was coming along quicker. He's, he's adjusted to, my, to me touching him. I've had him on a halter. I was able to pull him into me and touch him. So he was actually doing really well, but I've, I've backed off him too a little bit. So, um, We'll give them a little time here and slow down things and then see where I'm at here next week uh, with, the, with, the, with some more, uh, uh, you know, pin them in the corner and, and more touch. So anyway, there's a lesson learned for you. Donkey time. It's a real thing. <laughs> so be patient with these guys. All right. Thanks for watching. And hey, subscribe to my channel. <laughs>